Hi guys, it's Angelia. How's everybody doing today? Um, I thought I'd come outside since it has stopped raining. <laughs> it's been raining all morning to see if I can do a quick video. Uh, I have better light out here, but anyway, uh, it's nice today. Even though it's been raining, I love rainy days, but it's it's nice and cool and my favorite uh, kind of days. But anyway, I want to get up here and show you a few things that I have finished. Um, I have a just a few that I'd like to show and then what I decided I'm going to do is pick Wednesday since we all call it Whip Wednesday and show you what whips I have because I do have uh, a few of those and if I put it all together it just makes my videos so long and they take forever to load so I'm going to try to you know be quick about them and stuff but anyway I got my list it's a little wet because it's been raining <laughs> But anyway, um, the first one I'm going to show you is called a uh, Thanksgiving Turkey Amigurumi, and it's by Karen, Kara or Cara Gunza, and it's free on her blog. Now, I had this one uh, I've been wanting to do for about a year, and I never got around to it. Ran out of time because Thanksgiving rolled around, and I thought, well, I'll wait till next year. So finally, I decided it's time. So here he is. <laughs> Isn't he cute? Oh my goodness, this was so fun to make and it whipped up really quick. I used a like a 3.5 millimeter hook on the, the bird himself and then the uh, other parts I used like a 4 on the granny squares. But this was so quick and all the yarn that I used was just scraps that I have of Red Heart or Hobby Lobby. But super fast and you know something really cute that you can set out for Thanksgiving if you'd like or just you know for fall decoration <laughs> but it is free up on her blog and I'll put a a uh, link down to it if you'd like to try to make one <laughs> that's my first one now my second one I've been wanting to make some of these and I just never have gotten around to it and then I finally decided you know I'm gonna make some of them they're just so cute I got all my stuff over here trying to keep my kitty cats out of the basket because their little feet are wet right now from walking through all the the water puddles. But anyway, um, this next one is called the Cute uh, Pocket Bat, and it's by Sharon Uwala. I think that's how you say her name. It's Emma Groomy to go, and this is she has a tutorial of this on her channel, and she also has it free up on her blog. But they are the cutest little bats, <laughs> aren't they sweet? I uh, been wanting to make some of these for a while because they're they're tiny and and so I finally decided I think I'll do it and these work up so quick I didn't have the right size of eyes I they're kind of big but I, I still think they turned out cute and these are cat eyes and so uh, I went with this and this is just some um, I think it's great Hobby Lobby and I used a 3.5 millimeter hook and then I decided hey I want to whip up some black ones so then I did one of this color and then I used some blue safety eyes and then I decided to do another black one with some green cat eyes and then I did one with brown <laughs> super cute and easy it didn't take me long at all to make these up and I'm not a very fast crocheter I mean, especially you know, I've got arthritis so I have to take a lot of breaks but anyway, aren't they the sweetest? And like I said, these whipped up so quick. And she has them up there on... I don't know if I can hold all of them without dropping them on the wet porch. <laughs> but they just turned out so cute. A little family of bats. But I had to do a purple one. That's so cute. But anyway, um, I'll put a link down there below if you're interested in making one and like I said they're just the pocket size you can just take them fold them up and put them in your pocket <laughs> super cute okay that's my second one okay my third one is called I don't know uh, Blanky is his name and I don't know if all y'all are familiar with the movie The Brave Little Toaster oh my goodness what a cute little kid show I love that show it's one of my favorites but anyway I've been wanting to make this little guy off of it for a while and I finally decided I needed to finish it I started it I think last year and I never finished it and it's easy to do <laughs> but anyway it was one of those that just got put to the back but I finally finished him and here he is 
He is the cutest little thing and so quick. And this one is by uh, Soot Stitchery. And she has a YouTube channel, and this is free on her blog, too. And she also has a tutorial on how to do this, and it's super easy. But I did this in cotton with a 5 millimeter hook, and this is just some acrylic that I had, and I used a 3.5. I didn't have any cotton that color, or I'd have done it in cotton. But anyway, I think he turned out so cute. But it's the sweetest little kid movie, and it's, which, like I said, it's one of my favorites. I always loved it, but... Um, yeah just had to make him <laughs> and i'll put a link down below if you'd like to check it out okay that's another one that i've got okay and my other one is by sarah sash she just did a little tutorial on this the other day on her channel and these are towel toppers now i've got them on my towel to show you what they look like and super fast, super easy. You don't have to sew a button on. You just whip them up. And I guess some towels you cut to add them to it. I don't know. I've never made any before. But the first set I made, I think they were from Jada and Stitches. And you sewed a button. But I wanted something where I didn't have to do any sewing. And this is it right here. And I did one in Christmas colors. And this is a Hobby Lobby cotton. And this is cotton too. And I can't tell you what the name is. I can't remember. Of course, you can tell this is Christmas. And this is just like a gold type color. Curie, I think, is what it's called. But anyway, um, used a five millimeter hook on it. Super cute and fast and simple. If you're looking for something, you want to throw in a gift basket or something, these are it right here. And she has a little tutorial she does up there on her uh, YouTube channel. It's by Sarah Sash. Okay. And then my last one. I've been doing a crochet along. Um, and it's by uh, Jennifer uh, Percival, <laughs> and it's a nativity scene. And I've been been wanting to do one for a while, a couple of years, and I've been procrastinating about it. And I finally said, you know, get with it. <laughs> so I finally did. I got started. Now the first one I showed you the, the others the other day. And I'll show you real quick with which ones they are. Um, it's a paid for pattern. And she does have a Facebook group that she's doing the crochet along. I'll put a link down below if you'd like to join it. And it's, I think the last is in sometime in December, whenever it will end. But anyway, the first one that we did, I think it was Joseph. It's Joseph. And you can go at your own pace. You can get them all done now if you want to. Several have already done too. I'm not that fast. <laughs> but anyway, this one is Joseph. And all of this is just Hobby Lobby and Red Heart uh, Super Saver yarn. And I used a 3.5 millimeter hook on all of it. And then here's Mary. Super cute. <laughs> oh, I'm having fun making these. And now, last week was the baby Jesus. And this week is the manger. Which I went ahead and did both. Which I didn't know they were separate until one was one week and one was the other. Until I read up there and I thought, oops, I got ahead. <laughs> which that's okay. You can. And anyway, here's the little manger. That I made and I actually had my husband put a, cut me a piece of wood to put underneath it so it would set up right he's a carpenter so he comes in handy for that <laughs> and then here's little baby Jesus isn't it sweet oh I just love this gosh so adorable he's so tiny fit right in your pocket but that's what's um, the mangers this week and Jesus was last week and then I did, I got ahead of myself. I went ahead and did the other one, which is one of the wise men. And I did him last night. And here he is. <laughs> oh, he turned out so cute. But all of this is just scraps that I've got. And I just loved how he turned out. I did it in a darker blue and then a lighter blue. And then I did gold. And he's got his little gift for baby Jesus right there. And this was not... Uh, not due to do till next week but I got ahead <laughs> kind of want to get ahead of the game but anyway that's how he turned out they're all just as cute as can be and I can't wait to get started on the next one but I'm gonna I like it being spaced out that way you know I don't get burnt out or something so but anyway that's by Jennifer Percival if you'd like to to join and I'll put a link to her Facebook down below and it's a paid for pattern
But anyhow, that's all I have right now. Um, I don't mean to go fast, but I'm trying not to make my video so long because, like I said, it takes forever for all of this to uh, load up. And uh, so I'm just going to separate my whips from my finished objects. And anyway, um, I guess I'm going to get off of here. Uh, today was uh, clean house day. I still got a vacuum, but I'm done with everything else, thank goodness. And I just want to get up here and do a video and show you what I've been up to. And I hope everybody is uh, doing good. And, and I guess I'm going to hop off. And I hope everybody has a wonderful, blessed day. And I will talk at you guys real soon.